Here I am at the Manchester City Football Academy. This is where all the City teams train, right from small children all the way up to Pep Guardiola's first team. And today, I'm going to find out exactly what it takes to be a Manchester City player when I join up with the women's team. And they're even going to let me kick a ball around. Can't wait. Steph, we start the day in the analysis room. How much do you do in here? We do quite a lot, to be honest. I think, um, especially leading up to bigger games, just to kind of get a feel of what the boss wants from training, but also for us to either reflect on the game that we've just had before and looking forward to the opposition that we've got at the weekend. Today's a double day. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of a normal day here? What, what does the week kind of look like? Generally, we do two double sessions, which consists of being on the pitch and then the gym. And then the day before a game, we just have a little bit of a light session. I think when I first came here, some of us were full-time, other girls were still working. Now we're here every single day. Two cup matches and a huge league game. I mean, this is massive, these, this next little spell. We've got Chelsea twice this week and it can prove to be a very defining week in our season. <laughs> right, so basically before we go out onto the pitch, we do like 15 minutes called P2P which basically means prepare to play. Start with the phone roll. Thank you. Yeah, everyone's best friend. No, well, not mine, but... <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this is painful. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> the philosophy that we do is the same philosophy, I think, that the men do. It's just come on so much. Obviously, it's come on so much. <laughs> Jill dancing. Yeah, that's really good activation there. Good activation, Jill. <laughs> Wednesday, looking ahead to the game, it would be easy to not train. But we're going to make sure we do it properly. All right, let's go. Still climbing up your arms, big arms there, Georgia. Ready? Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great being able to train on a day like this. I think we're pretty lucky. I mean, the ground staff were out working um, all this morning while we were building snowmen. And obviously, the undersoil heating helps massively. Because yeah. I know quite a lot of the other teams in the league won't be as lucky as we are. See, obviously, the size of the squad, but quite a few young players in there as well. The development girls who are in today. Um, they come and train with us quite a lot and that's obviously really good for them and their development. And I think we're fortunate at this club because they do give young players opportunities. Hey, this is my favourite bit. Oh, me too. <laughs> the lunch, too. the food. <laughs> it's great. Um, this looks nice. Yeah, it's lovely. We are very spoiled here. The salad bits over here. I want hot. Okay, okay, okay. Too cold okay. Today. We have a menu every day. So, soup obviously, mixed veg and then tells you about the vegetables, but we have, we'll get three options for protein mm -hmm. every day, which is great. We got some beets, Excellent. we got some broccoli. Definitely gonna go for some peas. broccoli, cause I'm really healthy. Salmon, chicken, or uh, beef stew. As you can see, there's plenty to choose yeah. from. After a double session, it's very important that we'll come in and, and do recovery. We'll have a cold pool, a hot pool, and then also an underwater treadmill. Right, are you ready? What? Oh, you go, mate, you. What was that? When it comes down to the kind of level it's at now, it is the little bits of extra work that you can do, and having these facilities, it does give you perhaps a little edge over some of the other teams. The league's getting so much more competitive now. Going back a few years, you would go places and you kind of knew you were going to get the three points. I think now you don't go anywhere thinking that that is the case. Oh, oh man, let's get out. Oh. 